Right, you guys, got another video here for you. Now, on my forums, I get asked a lot to reset uh, network settings and stuff like that. So I thought I'd make a video just solely for uh, resetting your network settings, like your WinSock uh, IP and stuff like that, and troubleshoot network drivers and things like that. So let's go ahead and do this in this video. I'm going to keep it nice and simple, nice and basic uh, for this one. So first off, what you want to do, uh, if you're on Windows 10, this does work on other versions of Windows, but if you're on Windows 10, the first place you want to go to is the little flag on the left hand side here, then settings, and then go into uh, network and internet. Inside here, you'll see a status area here, and then go to that, and then on the right, you'll see an area that says network reset. Click on this, and then you want to click on reset now. Say yes. And this will put everything back to default. So you can see Windows will shut down in five minutes. So we're going to close this and restart the system. So that's what we need to do. So I'm going to restart. Now, once you've restarted, you will get the reset for your networks popping up on the right hand side here. Just say yes to this. And that has resetted your uh, network uh, settings. OK. Now, also, we can go about doing this inside the command prompt. So we're going to go into the command prompt at the bottom left hand side. So if you're still having issues, you can type CMD, right click on this and run this as administrator. Put this into the middle here. And what we're going to do is type in our first command. So we're going to go net sh space win and then sock like so, and then space reset. What we're going to do is reset that. You can see successfully reset the WinSock catalog. Next up, the next command that you can run is net sh int space ip and then reset, just like so. And you can see here that is reset all of those. Okay. So what you want to do next after you've done that one, if you're still having issues, you can always do IP config space forward slash release. Push enter and it will start to release that as you can see here. What we want to do next is IP config space forward slash renew like so and push enter. This will start to uh, configure it for us. There you go. We're back up and running. Another one you can do flush DNS command. Now we've rebooted. And then we're going to do flush DNS like so. And there we go. That's successfully uh, flushed our DNS. So if we're still having issues from there, there is a network troubleshooter which you can use. If you come down to here, and uh, there you go just type troubleshoot here and uh, click on this one here so it's going to give you some options here you can see internet connections you can click on the internet connections and run the troubleshooter let that run and you can see here troubleshoot my uh, connection to the internet and you can click on this and it will then start to troubleshoot now you can also get to that via um, the network adapter so you can see here network adapter as well so you want to run this network adapter uh, troubleshoot as well if you're having issues you can do that as well that's another area that you can check and uh, what we want to do here next is we're going to close this off and what we're next is going to cover is the adapter so you want to go to the start button here right click on this and go to your device manager Inside here, you're going to get your network adapter, which is here. And this is your network adapter for your internet to get to the internet. If this is disabled or uh, damaged or anything like that, the driver may be damaged, you may be having issues uh, doing this, you can always update that. So if you right click on this, you can see there's an update driver here. So if you click on update driver, it's going to give you an option to search uh, automatically. Uh, for an updated driver and software you can run this if you wish and it will search online and try to uh, find the latest driver 
if that's not successful for you, uh, you can also uninstall the device and then reboot the system and uh, try to install a new driver. Uh, you can do that as well. There's also an area inside here which is for your driver, which is you've got update driver here. And sometimes you'll have a rollback driver, which is an older driver. You can always try to roll back uh, that driver by this method. But if it's grayed out, you can't do it. Now you want to make sure that you find the right uh, driver for your uh, network card. Okay, now also your network card could be failing as well. And if, or if it's failed, then you want to get yourself a new uh, network card. You don't need to buy a new motherboard, even though it is attached to the motherboard, you can buy a separate little network uh, a card to plug into your computer to bypass that one, okay? So just make sure you follow those steps and you should be uh, back up and running. They're just basic uh, steps that you can run to try to uh, fix any uh, bad internet issues. If it's a browser, we'll go through some browser stuff that you can try to fix browsers. Now there is software out there that will uh, fix a lot of network issues and I'll just show you one more of those right now. Now the tools we're looking at here is a net adapter repair. Now this is a very good tool for repairing uh, network adapters and especially if you've had malware and stuff like that on the system these can help fix a lot of those issues and you can see here it also does a lot of what we've done already um, inside here and you can see here flush DNS which we've all covered you can see a lot of other uh, areas like re release and renew uh, clear host file that can also be a problem that you may want to do you can see here clear static IP settings enable DHCP so we've got a load of areas that you can run through here okay uh, enable LAN adapters enable wireless adapters this in case they've been disabled uh, you can see reset internet options and security uh, privacy and stuff like that so you can see we've got a bunch of good stuff here which you can just put ticks in and run okay you can also go into the advanced repair here as well and you can also ping from here which is a very common way of testing the internet pinging an address you can also do that inside your command prompt uh, by pinging and you can say ping uh, google.com and it will give you uh, a trace for all that as well you can do trace route all that sort of good stuff you can see here it's doing it uh, from here ping dns and ping an ip you can see here so that is the uh, net adapter here we also have another great little tool here for fixing uh, network issues and you can see here we're going to go into this one here i'm going to run this as administrator here just make sure it's got all the rights to run this is windows repair tool and uh, this is another one that you can use if you're having some serious issues and it's not uh, working properly and you're still having problems uh, with, uh, let me see if we've got it here. We want to go to, uh, let's see, repairs main, open repairs and uh, open this up. And you can see here, we do have some areas which you can use to fix uh, uh, network problems uh, with your network card and adapter and stuff like that so you can see inside here I'm not going to run any of these because I've already shown you some of the stuff that you can do but they are in the, inside here as well you can see repair network and you can just remove the ticks so you want to clear all and just run test uh, run tests and repairs on uh, the some of the areas that you want to do you don't need to run all of this you can see repair host file and uh, repair internet explorer and so on there's loads of areas here Okay, so that's pretty much it. I hope this one helps you out. That's how you can re reset all your network adapter settings, WinSock and all that sort of good stuff uh, inside Windows 10. You can also use these methods also on other versions of Windows as well. I hope this has been helpful to you. My name is Brian from bratechcomputers.co.uk. Don't forget, if you've got any other problems, you can always head over to the forums and post your problems over there and I'll do my best and everyone else will do their best to help you out over there as well. Thanks again for watching guys, bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.